Two Wheels for Grover by Dan Elliott. Pictures by Joe Matthew. Grover was so happy. He was going to visit his cousins. He kissed his mother goodbye. He left with Uncle Jed. Uncle Jed drove out into the country. Soon Uncle Jed said, here we are. Everyone was happy to see Grover. Aunt Edna made a picnic to welcome him. After lunch, Rosie said, let's go bike riding. She ran to get her bike. I do not have a bike, said Grover. We have an extra bike, said Rosie happily. Frank got a big new bike for his birthday. You can ride his little old one. Grover looked at the bike. It looked old. But it did not look little. Oh dear, he thought. I do not know how to ride a bike. But I do not want Rosie to know. My mommy will not let me, he said. Grover watched Rosie ride off on her bike. Frank called to Grover. Come play with me in my tree house. Grover climbed up the ladder. You used to be afraid to climb, said Frank. I was just a baby then. Grover smiled. Now I am the best climber upper, he said. Grover stopped smiling. I wish I could ride a bike, he said. The next morning, Aunt Edna had good news. Your mother said that you may ride a bike. Grover tried to smile. Come on, Grover, said Rosie. She ran from the table to get her bike. Grover followed Rosie, but he walked slowly. I cannot ride today, he said. I have a sore foot. Oh, too bad, Grover, said Rosie. She was on her bike and ready to go. You can go without me, Grover said sadly. Every day, Grover played with his cousins. They went swimming. They played hide and seek. They went to the store to buy ice cream. Every day, Rosie said the same thing. Let's go for a bike ride. But Grover always said, no, I hurt my hand. Or, no, I do not feel like bike riding now. One day, Rosie rode off to visit Farmer Finn. Grover and Frank played cards. Grover asked Frank a question. When did you learn to ride a bike? When I was seven, said Frank. Wow, said Grover. That is very old. That is older than I am. Then Frank asked Grover when he learned. I never did cried Grover. I do not know how to ride a bike. Don't cry, said Frank. I will teach you how. Grover shook his head. No, said Grover. Big Bird tried to teach me. I cannot learn. Frank smiled. Big Bird's bike was too big. I bet you can ride my little old bike. Frank held his old bike, and Grover got on it. What if I fall? asked Grover. I will catch you, said Frank. So Grover pedaled the bike. Frank ran next to it. The bike wobbled along the road. Help! yelled Grover. Don't worry, said Frank. I will not let you fall. Up and down the road went Grover on the bike. 
Up and down the road ran Frank. That's it, Grover, he said. You are doing great. Suddenly, Rosie zoomed down the road. She shouted to them. Farmer Finn is giving away kittens. Grover's eyes lit up. I love furry kittens. May I have one? He asked. Yes, said Rosie. But hurry before they are all gone. Rosie headed for Farmer Finn's. Follow me, she called, and Grover did. He zoomed after Rosie. Grover picked a cute orange kitten. I had to be Speedy to get you, he said. So I will call you Speedy. He put the kitten in his bike basket. Then he rode off. Purr, went the kitten. Grover was so happy. Grover returned to Sesame Street. He gave his mother a big hug. Guess what, Mommy, he said. I can ride a bike. That is wonderful, said his mother. You really are growing up. Now I know what to get you for your birthday. 